Welcome members and guests of Winnipeg Country Club and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I'm here today to give you guys a, a tip and um, get you guys going this uh, early season. We've been off to a great start. The golf course is in unbelievable shape. Eric has done, Eric and his crew have done an excellent job. We're out here on the 11th hole and we're going to talk to you a little bit about uphill and downhill lies and uh, side hill lies. So, um, first thing we're going to do is talk to you about uh, ball above your feet. So, the idea behind this is we're going to try to make adjustments in our setup so that we don't have to make a different swing or manipulate the club any differently than we would on a normal swing. So, what I like to do is I like to stand with my, with my feet slightly more together. And what that does is it makes me a little bit taller. If I was had a wider stance, narrowed my stance, it, ta it raises me up a little bit and it helps me to hit that ball that's raised up a couple inches off the ground. So I'm going to stand with a narrow stance and then I'm going to try to maintain a straight back, but I'm going to have my sternum up just slightly more than it normal, normally would be. So my chest is up and my stance is narrowed and both of those things have raised me up to the level that now I can make my normal swing. So narrow stance, chest up, now I can make my swing and that's going to affect me less. Um, you really want to um, try to make all the adjustments pre-swing so that you can just make your regular swing. And then the same would go for the ball below your, your feet. One of the biggest mistakes I see when uh, the ball's below a player's feet is the first thing they do is they bend their knees like this and try to get lower to the ground. The problem that is your your chest and your sternum never really get any closer to the ground. Your, your butt just kind of gets lower. You can still hit a top shot from this position. So instead of concentrating on getting lower with your knees, I like to have almost straight knees and have a lot of bend from my, from my hip. hip. A lot of hip tilt forward. I really feel like my butt's out. I really feel like I'm looking over a cliff. Um, and the opposite of the uh, ball above your feet, now I'm going to have my, my stance widen to make myself shorter. So I have a, a wider stance with not that much knee flex and a lot of hip tilt. So now I'm in this position here. Now I can go ahead and make my swing and that club is going to get you right down to the ground. Uh, a couple tips for you. If the ball is below your feet as it is in this position, you can a right-handed player can expect the ball to go off to the right. If the ball is above your feet in this position, as we talked about before, this ball for a right-handed player is going to tend to curve off to the left. So make sure you, you plan on that, um, and that can certainly help you out. The reason that is, is when the club tips up like that, it actually starts aiming more left, and when the club tips more down like that, it actually begins to aim more right. Um, so then, real quick on the uphill and downhill lies, the biggest thing for this is to try to get the, the club face on the ball squarely. That's the hardest part. Um, not necessarily the left and right. So when the ball, is, when we're going uphill, the tendency is to bottom out early because that ground comes into play earlier than it normally would. So the biggest uh, adjustment I make in this in this uh, shot here is to have the ball farther back in my stance, and I like to lean a little bit left to, to steepen my swing to assure that I'm going to hit the ball first and not the ground. So I'm leaning up the hill. Ball's in the back of my stance, and this was and this uh, shot is going to tend to go a little left and probably uh, draw just a little bit on you. Uh, you end up trapping the ball in this in this position, so that's a slightly closed face a lot. So the ball will tend to go off uh, a little bit to your left, and again, it's going to take off low. Um, when you're going down the hill, it's hard for me to show you without with still facing the camera, but I still keep the ball back in my stance. Because the tendency here is to uh, kind of fall down with the, the clip. We're going to go. We're going to lean down, down the hill here. And again, we're going to have the ball in the back of our position. Um, the tendency on when we're go when we have the ball 
um, and we're going downhill is to top the ball. It's hard to get the club on the on the ball with that position. So we're going to again move the ball back just to get better contact. So in both scenarios, um, uphill and downhill, you're going to move the ball farther back into your position to give you a better chance at good impact. Um, both of these shots will take off lower. The uphill will because of the ball position and the downhill will because of the slope of the hill. Um, and I think that's about it. I hope this helps. Try to keep these shots in mind. Uh, come on out and practice these. And uh, once again, all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. And uh, come on down to Wenham. We'll see you soon. Thanks.